Date diff is a hidden function here in Excel that allows us to calculate the difference between two dates, the year, months, days, or even we can just band, group together, all in one, so years, months, and days. So with this practical example, we're going to see how can we do it. Well, let's first take a look here in the structure of the date diff function, because I'm talking serious to you. Date diff function is actually a hidden feature in Excel. So take a look here, for example, equal sign sum function. Of course, you can see here the sum function in the list. If I change, let's say average, I can of course see it, the average function, obviously. But if I change it to the date diff, look, there's nothing in this list of functions. But if I it type it in here, the complete name, so date, div, and then I open parentheses here, as you guys can see, just pop out for me the name of the function. So Excel actually have the function in their database, but we cannot see it through the list, but we can use it. And it's a really good function in Excel, and I'm going to show you now how can we use it with this radical example. Let's take a look here first. How can we do the structure of this function? So we call sign date div. And then the first thing that we need to input is the start date, and then comma, and then the end date, comma, and then the unit. Maybe the unit is the most complicated part, because the rest is pretty much easy to do. So let's take a look here in the unit. I can use Y to calculate the difference in between these two dates in years, or M for months, D for days, or we can combine all these three preview units and then make, let's say, months within one year, days within one year, or days within one month. Then we have all these three combinations nations here. We're going to see with this practical example how can we use all these possibilities. And here I basically have some, a couple of names and then the birth date and then I want to know so let's say how many years, months and days each one of the names that I have here have. So let's take a look here. Ian for example, Ian had let's say 15 years, uh, maybe a couple of months, let's say 3 months and days uh, let's say 10 days of age okay. So 50 years, 3 months and 10 days of age okay. We can solve these 3 columns, years, months and days using the date diff function. So let's start here with, with the equal sign and then date diff open parentheses. And now the first argument that I need to input here is the oldest date, let's say that way. Okay, so I'm going to select this one right here and then comma. But here I have a problem because now I need to input the today date. But my today can be different than yours. So you need to make it dynamic because let's say tomorrow you're going to open again this spreadsheet. So when you're going to need to update all over again. Maybe it's not smart to do that way. So if we use the today function, it can help us because it's going to automatically update for us. So let's take a look here. I'm uh, just going to type it in here, just above, both sign, today, and then I'm going to double click it, enter. Okay, so this is the date of today, my today, okay? Your todays can be different than mine, but it doesn't matter. It's going to automatically update for you. So this is what you're going to use here. Let me just delete here, and then again, equal sign, date, diff, open parentheses, the oldest date, comma, now the today function. Open and close parentheses, comma. Now I need to input here the unity. So let's say open open quotations mark, and then I want the years. So why? Close quotations mark, close parentheses, and then I press enter. Okay, Ian had 52 years old, and now I can just click here in the down right corner of the cell, click, hold, and drag down to make sure all the rows contain the same function. Now with the months here, we can do the following: equal sign, date, diff, open parentheses, the oldest date, comma. And then I want to compare with today. So today, open close parentheses, comma. And now I can use here, open quotations marks, M, close quotations marks, and then close parentheses, enter. That way I have here as result, the total months that Ian have of age, for example. But maybe this is not exactly what I want because I already know Ian have, let's say, 52 years old. So I don't need to know it again, but in a different way with months. I just want to know, let's say Ian have 52 years old and three months of age. So this is what I, I need to know. And if we take a look here in the structure, I can use another type of calculation in, involving months. So for example, I can use this option right here. YM, because that way we're going to have the number of months within one year. So one month, two months, three months, 11 months, 12 months, and then it's going back to one again or zero. Okay. So let me just come back here to the difference between dates. And then instead of using M, I can use YM. Enter. Yeah, now this is correct. So Ian had, let's say, 52 years of age and seven months. Now I can just click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down to make sure all the rows contain the same function. Now let's do it all over again, but now I need to calculate the days. The post sign, date, diff, open parentheses. I'm going to select here the birthday, comma. I want to compare it with today. 
open close parentheses, comma, and now we're going to use here, open quotations mark, D, close quotations marks, and then close parentheses, enter. Okay, now we have the same problem as before, as we had here in the months. To solve that, we can change the unit. So, here we have three different types of units that we can use for days. We have the D itself, we have the YD, and we have the MD. What is the difference between these three? The D is going to return the total days, but this is not what I uh, what I want. So, for example, instead I can use the YD, because the YD is going to return the days within one year. But maybe it's not exactly what I want you, because days within one year, it can be 0, 1, 2, 100, 200, 365, and then it came back to 0. Maybe it's not what I want exactly. So instead, I can use the MD, because this is going to return for me the numbers of day within one month. So yeah, this is what I, I need. So let me come back here. Instead of using, let's say, D, I'm going to use MD. Enter. Now I have here the complete age for Ian, for example. So 52 years, 7 months, and 5 days. I can click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down to make sure all the rows contain the same function. And now we know how to calculate years, months, and days between two dates here in Excel. And to make it a little bit, let's say, complete, we can add here 52 years, 7 months, 5 days. Okay, so we can append a word or append a sentence for example let me just came back here double click it and here just after this close parentheses i'm gonna type in here the ampersand open the quotations marks and then let's say years for example close quotations marks and then press enter okay now we're done i can click here double click in the down right corner of the cell one two okay now we can do the same thing here for months just after this close parentheses ampersand and then open quotations marks and then months close quotations marks enter and I'm going to do here the same thing for the days. So double click it, upper sand, open quotations marks, day and close quotations marks, enter. I'm going to select this both here, click hold and drag down. And yeah, now we can make here, let's say all in one, or we can append the days to months and these two to years, for example. So here inside, instead of I do it all over again, equal sign, date, div, and so on, so on, I can instead just double click here in the first cell that I did the years with the date div, and then I can select everyone here, Select everyone and then Ctrl C to code. And then here in all in one, I can double click it, Ctrl V for example to paste. And then I can press enter. Now, in the same way, using the ampersand, I can append the months and the days to this all in one function. So let me just, instead of do it manually, I can double click here in the months, select everyone but the equal. Okay, so I'm gonna select everyone but the equal sign, Ctrl C. And then I came back here, double click, uh, ampersand, and then Ctrl V. Enter. Okay, now we are almost done. Now I can just go here to the days, select everyone but the equal sign, Ctrl C, and then again here, ampersand, Ctrl V, enter. We are almost done, but it's looking a little sketchy, let's say that way, because as you guys can see here, 52 years and then 7 months, 5 days, it's all bent together, it's all grouped together without space, without comma, so we can make it better, we can improve it. Let's just open here, and here, just after the years, for example, I'm gonna just type it in comma, and then space. And of course here, months, I'm gonna type it in space, and then end, and then space again. Now, enter. Look, now we're done with the all-in-one. I can click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down to make sure all the rows contain the same function and do it done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now we know how to use the date div function, that is a hide function in Excel, and you know how to calculate years, months, days between dates here in Excel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any suggestions to the next video, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.